praise the Lord. That's all I can say is praise the Lord. I heard from a dear friend that I hadn't heard in a long time. Last time I heard from this person, they were calling me and telling me about stuff that was happening in their life and pray. And I began to pray. I want you to know, brother, that I'm praying for you continuously, continuously. The love that I have for you just pours out pours out and I pray for you because you are part of the chosen called out ones that's the reason why things did happen in your life you didn't wasn't understanding at that point but uh, and and there was some things that I prophesied to you at, at one point that you didn't believe you omitted um, why but that don't offend me it does not offend me why would you want to believe me you just met me. You didn't know me. You really didn't know me. And and um, your heart was in so many things. It was messed up. But let me tell you, when I first met you and, and I took a hold of your hand and hugged you, I could feel the presence of God within you. The presence of God just 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 developed in you. And I knew you were in the wrong place to be in at that point in time. You were being deceived and dragged down. But you know, the Father woke you up. Sometimes it takes a shaking to wake us up. Even me, you know. So, and you know what I was ta I'm talking about. But we're going to be called out soon for His glory and His power. And you're part of the chosen people. You're part of the chosen that's called out from the rest. From all that mess that you were in and I was in. And we... Just a mess. But it was a growing time. A testing time. I want you to understand this. It was a testing time. For you and me both. It wasn't a bad time. It was just a testing time. And God has shown me more times than one. We were tested and we come out okay. I don't know all the things that you're doing right now. But I do know you're called to God. And soon you will be seeing some of the things that he's calling you to do. Because you're very important. You're very educated very well immersed in speaking you are one of the leaders in the group that will stand for Yeshua HaMashiach Jesus Christ you're being led in a way that you don't understand but you will but you will Brother, all I can do is say I loved you when all the mess that was going on. I loved you and I prayed for you continuously. Continuously. And ever since I found out what happened to you and what, sorry to say, the witch did to you, I've been praying for you because I know, I know without a shadow of a doubt, that the power of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, is upon you. You are a great tabernacle. My brother, you are a great tabernacle. And thank you for getting a hold of me. I know you well. I know you're safe in the hand of God, the Father. Covered by the blood of Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. And no harm can ever come to you. I know you was afraid there for a while. But no harm could come to you. No evil could touch you in any way, shape, nor form. Because you were chosen. Yes, you was. Bless you. Bless you so mightily. You were deceived just like I was deceived. 
But I think it was still all a testing point. We had to be deceived for the moment to understand how easy people will be deceived. We have a testimony that other people don't have. And we have a teaching that other people don't have to teach them not to get involved in occults and things they shouldn't get involved with. Because you've walked through the pit of fire. I have to. All is well. But I'm sending this especially to you. And people out there, all I can say, beware of who you follow and what they teach. Because it's not always of God. Sorry to tell you. Blessings in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach.